Huge news in Laker Nation. The Lakers and Nets pulled off a deal before Thursday's draft. The Lakers are sending D'Angelo Russell and Timofey Mozgov to the Brooklyn Nets in exchange for Brooke Lopez and the 27th pick in this year's NBA draft. First reported by Adrian Wojnarowski of the Vertical. Russell was taken second overall by the Lakers in the 2015 NBA draft. Here's the full trade. Brooke Lopez is entering the last year of his contract. Want to make over $22 million. Timothy Mozgov signed a four-year deal last summer. So the Lakers get rid of his last three seasons and will save a lot of cap space next offseason. The Lakers now have three first-round picks, two, 27, and 28. Brez, what can you tell us about this trade? Well, you just said it, cap space. That's a big drive, a big vehicle for this trade. Three years and $48 million left on Mozgov's deal, okay? Lakers not thrilled about giving up D'Angelo, okay? But the fact that they can create some cap space, maybe carve out room for not one, but two big free agents next summer is a huge part of this trade. And by the way, you get definitely like a top 10 center. He's just outside the top five, I would say, Brooke Lopez. To me, he's like the poster boy for a big man who suddenly shows up to training camp, which he did last fall, and he's got a three-point shot. This, this guy took five threes a game, shot 34%. How long have the Lakers been looking for a stretch forward or a stretch, you know, center? I mean, this is he's the guy. This is a great, great trade as far as getting a quality player and also relieving some cap space. Yeah, a lot of people see this as a, as a one-year deal. He, yeah. He's going to be playing hard, uh, trying to get a new contract, going to be a great uh, uh, mentor for a guy like Zubats. Uh, so no more Timofey Mozgov. But here's the other thing, Brez, and a lot of Laker fans are, are going to wonder and they're going to say, wait, we just traded the number two overall pick from two years ago. For Brooke Lopez, what gives? Here's the thing about D'Angelo. I mean, he, a year ago I said, this guy's going to have a great breakout season. I don't know if it was going to be 20 points a game or 22 points a game or 18 or 19, whatever it was. And he started off really well, and he just never quite stayed at that level, Geet. I always go back to the Cleveland game kind of late in the season when he scored 40 points against a very good team. But Kyrie Irving scored almost 50 against him. He just was never consistent enough for the Lakers to be thrilled well, with him. Well, Brez, you also, you, you know, because people will say, well, they're giving up on him when he's too young, but, but maybe sure. this is just the first domino to fall. Obviously, we all think there's other stuff that's going to be in play. What implications does this have for maybe Paul George? I think he'd say, well, they just got a lot more veteran. They just got a lot more skill with this trade. They also pick up a draft pick. Maybe the 27th and 28th pick can be packaged to move up in the trade. Or maybe even to get Paul George along with another player or two on the Laker roster. Foster. The, the Lakers have so much more flexibility because of this trade. And, and by the way, you know, the knock on Brooke Lopez is he, he's kind of injury prone. Yeah. And a couple years ago, he played only five games in this season. Another year, he played only 17 games. But in his last three years, he's played 75, 73, and 72 games. He's been uh, pretty healthy, for sure. Yeah, the big thing, obviously, the money that the Lakers yeah, will have yeah. next summer. Right? Yeah. This was just the beginning with a huge trade two days before the NBA draft. Make sure you join us for full coverage of the NBA draft Thursday at 6 p.m. Big Game James will be here. We'll speak with whoever the Lakers draft at number two. And from the Lakers front office, it's going to be another exciting night.